Welcome to the Reader's Garden. I'm Mrs. Gardner, and I'm really excited to be doing Getting Ready Lesson G with you today. We're going to be talking about vowel sounds. We make them by letting our vocal cords buzz and letting air flow freely out of our mouths. Unlike consonants, there's nothing blocking the air when we make a vowel sound. All vowel sounds are voiced, which means we always use our vocal cords to make them. The way we make different vowel sounds depends on where our tongue is in our mouth, how tight or loose our muscles are, and the shape of our lips. Isn't that interesting? All right, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure to like and subscribe before we go on to our plan for today. Our plan for today is to start with our sound wall and practice some of our vowel sounds. Then we're gonna head down to do some letter formation practice, and that will be the end of our getting ready lesson. Vowel sounds are made by vibrating our vocal cords and letting air flow freely out of our mouths. When we make a vowel sound, our lips might be rounded like this, or wide open like this, or smiley like this. When we make our rounded sound, we're making an Ooh. When we make our wide open sound, we're making an O. Oh. And we make our smiley sound, we're making an E. Can you try those sounds? Ooh. Oh. E. <laughs> if you feel silly, it means you're doing it right. We're going to play a little game. I want you to see if you can tell whether it's a consonant sound or a vowel sound by the shape of the lips on my easel. Think about whether your tongue or lips or teeth touch, or if you're just changing the shape of your lips. All right, ready? Here's the first one. Is this a consonant sound or a vowel sound? That's a consonant. Is this a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Ah, that's a vowel and a singing sound at that. Is this a consonant sound or a vowel sound? P -p -p. That's a consonant. Is this a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Mm, that's a consonant. Is this a consonant sound? or a vowel sound. Oh, oh is a vowel sound. Is this a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Ch, ch, ch. That is a consonant. Is this one a consonant sound or a vowel sound? D, d, d is a consonant sound. Is this one a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Hmm. K, k, k. That's a consonant. Is this a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Eh, 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 eh is a vowel sound. And that is the end of our consonant sound or vowel sound guessing game. So we can head, oh, there's my eh, eh, eh. <laughs> forgot to click it. We are going to be checking off our sound wall, check, because we finished our sound wall practice and we're going to head on to our letter formation. We're going to be practicing different kinds of writing lines. That's going to help us some of our, that will help us write some of the letters in our alphabet. We're going to be practicing writing letters with curves and lines. As a reminder, the first shape we're going to practice is a circle. This right here is a circle. We make a circle by starting at the top, curving around, going all the way around, and stopping at the top. We can make a circle by going counterclockwise or by going clockwise. A curve is a circle that does not go all the way around. 
We can make curves that look like half circles or moons. We can make curves that look like smiles or frowns. We can make curves that look like bumps or hills. This is a D. What letter is this? Uppercase D. Uppercase D is one vertical line connected to one big curve like a half circle. We make uppercase D like this. We're going to start at the top, starting at the top, straight line down to the bottom, hop back up to the top, big curve all the way down to the bottom. Do it with me, skywriting or tracing. Line down, hop back up, curve around. Feel free to repeat this section as much as you'd like, or we can head on to our next letter. This is an uppercase P. What letter is this? Uppercase P. Uppercase P is one vertical line connected to one small curve like a half circle at the top. We make an uppercase B like this. We start at the top, do a straight line down, hop back up to the top, and do a little curve to the middle of the letter. So we can do this next one together after we watch. Oh, there's that little curve being made. I'm going to trace it. So starting at the top, straight line down, hop back up to the top, little curve around to the middle. Go ahead and practice that one as much as you'd like. Our next letter is an uppercase B. What letter is this? Uppercase B. B is one vertical line connected to two small curves like half circles, one at the top and one at the bottom. We make uppercase B like this. We start at the top, straight line down, hop back up to the top, little curve to the middle, make another little curve to the bottom. Practicing it again, straight line down, top, curve to the middle, middle curve to the bottom. Beautiful, we have one more letter left for our practice today. This is an uppercase R. What letter is this? It's an uppercase R. Uppercase R is one vertical line connected to one small curve at the top and one slanted line from the middle to the bottom. Let's practice this one together. We're gonna make an uppercase R by doing one line from the top all the way down to the bottom. Then we'll do a curve from the top to the middle and a slanted line from the middle to the outer corner. All right, we'll do that together. I'm gonna to trace top, vertical line down, hop back up to the top, curve to the middle, and from the middle, a slanted straight line to that outer corner bottom. Great job. Go ahead and practice this one as much as you like. And that brings us to the end of our letter formation practice today. We can go ahead and check off that sound wall because we already did it and our letter formation. Excellent job on our lesson today. I'm really proud of you all. Thank you so much for reading with me today in the Reader's Garden. I'm so proud of how we're all going to be readers together. If you like these videos and don't want to miss them, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.